Hello makeup, my old friend. Today we're going to do a get ready with me and it is actually to leave the house. Um, Lee and I are going for a drive, we're going to go and get Costa and sit in the car and I am treating it like a full day out. So I've done my moisturiser, I'm going to put on my SPF. This is the Zinc Sun Cream, I don't know what this brand is, Z plus N? I don't know, I bought it from YesStyle. Um, I bought a bunch of different um, SPF type products, there we go, it's like super bright today, um, from there in my last haul. I didn't do the haul because I feel like it wasn't entirely appropriate, but if you would like to see what I purchased from there, I can show you, let me know. Um, now I'm not 100% sure that I trust this particular SPF, I'm using it today, we'll see. Um, I bought this one and another one from Misha, which I prefer, but I put this on last week and um, I was outside, and I don't go outside much, as you know if you watch my vlogs, I've become a hermit. Um, and I was outside for a little while, and um, I was, you know, S the SPF is, is brand new, and I'd applied it not super long before I left the house, so it's not even like, you know, it worn off by that time, I don't know what it was, but I had a lot of redness on my nose and on my chest. In fact, my chest, I mean, I've got... Um, some scarring now from that oil splatter from the beginning of lockdown. Nightmare. But my chest, I think, has been quite blotchy since then. I don't know. I don't know. I probably shouldn't be using this SPF, but just a little bit of background. Um, the Dream Urban Cover from Maybelline, I've been using again since I've been testing out a fake tan and I thought, well, I can go and use some of my uh, deeper foundations. This is probably going to still be way too deep. But hey ho, I'm sitting in the car. Nobody besides you guys is going to see me. Well, only. Um, and I've been really enjoying the cosmetics. From time to time when I decide to put makeup on, which is like once every two weeks at the moment, um, I've been reaching for the it cosmetics because it's been really easy to apply. Just even with no moisturiser and prep underneath, it just goes on really nicely. It blends really easily. It's just easy. Nothing looks worse when I put it on, it's not clinging to any dry areas and so I thought I'll dig this out because it's basically Maybelline's dupe and as I remember from the um, comparison video I actually really liked this. I think it is a bit deeper though. This is 126 Nude Beige. I think this is a little bit deeper than the It Cosmetics. I'm gonna take it down my neck and actually onto my chest because yeah this is crazy. It doesn't match me at all right now. I am also noticing some dryness up here that I didn't even know that I had. This is the thing, lots of people have messaged me and said that their skin's been worse since they've not been wearing makeup. And I think part of it's probably that we're not being quite as diligent with our cleansing routine in the nighttime. Um, and you're probably not doing as many things. I mean, I know I'm like hardcore going at it skincare wise, but sometimes you look at your face, you're doing your skincare and everything looks cool. And then you put makeup on and you're like, oh, I'm really dehydrated or I've got some kind of scaliness or whatever and you can't see it on your skin as it is and then you put something else on and it kind of exacerbates that and you know you need to treat that. I know now that I need to probably do a little bit of exfoliation up here. Include this because I don't always do a mask on my forehead. I don't want it in my hair. I need to kind of incorporate that a little bit. Um, and I think maybe that's why. I have a new setting powder. I'm, I have a new setting routine that I'm testing out in this video. So we'll see that next, uh, or rather at the end. Uh, I'm wearing the NARS Sex Appeal blush because I was like looking through my stuff. What should I put on? I thought, I'm gonna pick some of my favorite things because they just make me happy. And this is just one of my absolute favorite cheek products. Um, I also have a highlight that I'm gonna put on a little bit, but I just think this is so pretty. It's just a little soft something of color really nice in the summertime too with a tan. It's not a lot, but it's just enough. The highlight is this. So this is called Brunch Club, it's from Primark. Um, apologies, because obviously we can't get this right now. Very upsetting. I am just about to film actually a, um, a, a virtual Primark shop with me. By the time you see this, that will be up and Emma's will hopefully be up as well. We've both been putting our off all week. Um, it's why we'll be like, should we do this? Yeah, we'll do that. And then, we just never did, we never got around to actually filming it. So I'm filming it literally the day before it goes up, which is kind of unheard of for me. Um, but we're both super missing Primark. Uh, I really enjoyed those shop with me's anyway. And I was online the other day and I kind of found myself on their website and thought, oh, I know you can't shop online, but we could still totally do a virtual shop with me. Um, so that is from Primark, that highlighter. And when I bought it, I put it in my drawer and every time I saw it, I thought, oh, it looks so frosty. 
I just never, I was never reaching for it. And it's actually not, it's very sheeny, really pretty, not as high frost as it appears for my eyes. Because I've got short nails, this is something I can't do when I have my long nails. Um, I'm gonna go in with my fingertips because I just wanted a little bit of something smudged onto my eye, but I don't want it to be like a whole eye look because who can be bothered? This is, trying to remember the name, Soft Blush, Copper Blush from Natural Collection. Um, one of my all time favorite eyeshadows. I bought this last year, instantly fell in love with it. Can't tell you, I mean, I feel like this would be great for everyone. It's just a really pretty color. It's not too deep. Um, just gorgeous, as, as just like an all over lid color. Just so pretty and especially, I mean, I was wearing it kind of towards the end of the year last year, but in the summertime with a tan, this is gonna be gorgeous. And I've got this Lacora. is it Lacura Lecour or Lacora? You tell me, um, Aldi basically, makeup, brow pencil, um, because it's been kind of a little bit warmer and I have been attempting to leave the house. I feel like my brows have faded a little bit more. It was January I had them done. You're supposed to get them done kind of every nine to 12 months. So they're not really due a top up yet, but I do think when I do them, it does, it, everything kind of looks a little bit more polished. Um, I do appreciate though that day to day, I don't have to do them, fantastic. And when I do fill them in just a little bit, I have a template there and I just kind of do a little bit and I think it makes them look maybe a little bit more natural, a little bit more defined, but 100% I will continue to have these done until maybe they spread out all over my face and look terrible, I don't know. Um, we'll see, I don't feel like microblading at this level has been around for long enough to just, for us to really know what it's gonna look like down the line, but it's some of my best spent money. I've just been talking and I wasn't filming. So I purchased two things. I'm gonna talk a little bit about it at the end of the month, um, kind of what I actually purchased this month. I think kind of a, a low down, a low down, a download, what are we gonna call it? Uh, like a check-in of what I've actually spent my money on this month um, when I'm trying not to spend any money at all. These two things definitely made the cut because they were doing 50% off on Morphe. I really desperately wanted to try the Mattifying Continuous Setting Mist because I love the original. And um, I also bought a travel size of the original and I bought this. It was also basically to tip me over to free shipping. Oh, this is how they get you. And this is the uh, Filter Effect Setting Powder. So I'm just putting a little bit of the powder on my T-zone. I'm not really, I don't really want to go crazy because I'm going to put this Mattifying Mist on and I want that to be there the show stealer. So <clears throat> this is very exciting. I'll put a clip in. I should have put a clip in earlier. This is the first time I've blow dried my hair in, I don't know, probably since February. Right, so moment of truth. Number one, it smells different to the other one. I don't know if it's just me, but I think that smells like cucumbers, maybe melon. Right, I'm gonna give it a second to, Oh, It looks matte straight away. Whoa, okay. This feels very wet on my skin right now. I don't know if that's gonna focus. Let me see if I can zoom in for you. That is matte immediately. It feels wet, but it's completely matte. How can this be? Right, okay, one million percent then. I didn't need to put on the setting powder. I could have just gone with whatever foundation I had and then done the setting mist instead of a powder. That could be a game changer. The mascara I'm gonna wear is the Primark Dramatic Lash. If you saw my Wear and Compare Primark mascara video, you will know this was my winner. Forgot to film again. Right, I'm using, um, what is this called? Rycogen, Rycogen? I think Rycogen, um, and it's from NARS. Uh, do you know what, this reminds me of so much, just because Rycogen was on the list. I used to play this game, and I'm trying desperately to remember what it was. It was like Airport Tycoon or something. Loved anything that was something tycoon. Um, and like roller coasters, hospitals, any of those kind of strategy games that the kid loved it. And now I'm gonna have to Google this because it's just come to me. Rycogen was one of the things, like you had to find like balance things. Does anybody remember this game? Maybe it was just me. Anyway, I love this because it's like a satin, I think it is a satin lip pencil. Yes, it is. But it's kind of a little bit matte. It just kind of is like your lips but better, perfectly polished, slightly frosty, which is weird that I like, 
but it's just beautiful. Oh, I love it so much. I know some of this stuff was on the pricier side, but I've kind of come to the conclusion at this point that most of my audience are in the zone of um, wanting to save money where possible, but there are certain things that you're prepared to splurge on, whether or not it just be like a treat or because you want to know something works really, really well. And um, that's kind of where I'm at. And whenever I ask for suggestions and recommendations for things, things are usually kind of mid to high level anyway. So I, you know, budget beauty is great and we all want to save money where we can. And a lot of stuff, it's not a matter of you get what you pay for. It really is, you can massively save. Um, and some things, it's just, you know, it's nice to have some bougier things that you know every single time are kind of perfect. Uh, and that lip pencil is one of them. So, oh man, I feel like a new woman. Uh, I'm gonna go out and drive and have a coffee. And we might even drive past Meadowhall just for the nostalgia, just so I can be like, I miss you so much. Uh, I'm going to leave you with a clip. I just wanna see how this goes. So I'm gonna leave you with a clip of later on, probably filmed on my phone, um, seeing how the mattifying spray worked out. Because uh, I know you guys are going to want to know. It's very well for it to look like this now, but what does it look like later? Um, but otherwise, thank you for watching. I will try to remember to link everything, list everything um, that I've used below. Um, but I hope you're all doing well. I'm excited to have put on makeup and have somewhere to go. I'm excited for this all to be over. But in the meantime, I'm staying home. I'm following the guidelines. And if you want to see me slobbing out at home, doing very little. I also have some vlogs on my other channel which will be linked below as well. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye. It's half past eight. So it's been, I don't know, it was before lunch that I um, filmed that video. So let's say it's been a minimum of nine hours. Um, insane. Absolutely insane. Look at my makeup. I haven't even touched up my lipstick to be fair. Um, and I've had lunch, dinner, multiple drinks um everything i am obsessed i did think initially it was a little bit powdery um wasn't 100 percent sure it doesn't give quite that perfect glowy you know the thing the original has it kind of i think the dewy thing is the thing that makes it look magic um and so if that's the thing I, I still feel that there is a place for both. Um, if I was kind of out for the day and I was trying to, I mean, I've, I tried to like install a pool filter today. This is not like an easy day. I've been here, there and everywhere, not just a regular day in lockdown. Um, but yeah, just massively, massively impressed. It doesn't replace the original for me because the original is just a little, a little bit amazing. Um, but in terms of mattifying and keeping me oil free, it's incredible. And it has definitely helped my makeup look fresh all day. So winner, can't recommend it enough. If they do 50% again, I would recommend that you pick up both. Mm -hmm.